you please can you please explain the thing that you were saying about the melody of of how you wrote the song like you were like you wanted a, a specific melody that didn't have yeah. to have lyrics and i thought that was very interesting yeah yeah so, okay so oh the, so the process when i was writing the song because so so what came first so i wrote the song with nana ata you know but what came first in my mind was the melody you know so i like that so for me what da 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 it's the funniest thing is that when i was thinking of an of an instrument it is it is a violin when you think about it you know that's so that's the melody that came to the mind but now so i tried writing it in english and so there are some in the music where they they call them syllables you know when you want to have so when you want up and you want a certain word that is going to make sure that it it articulate that note exactly as you want it to sound and for me it was like there's no language that is able to do this you know like no language um and two i don't want to write a language on when when it comes to the song but i do not want to cuz it i could feel it was spiritual to me as well as well but i did not want it to to or to segment it and be like this is a love song or this is a spiritual song this is a religious song this is so i wanted it to be what you want the song to be yeah you know i just wanted it to so what you like the song to be. i'm all, i'm just going to put things that i like that i think they are so dear to me and they are spirit and they have that spiritual they give me that spiritual relief me this is, is angola because angola is 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 such a country you know what i love about angola is that everything you see there is owned by black men <laughs> yeah everything you lay your eye your eyes on is owned by a black man which is something that is it's it's not a it's not it's something which doesn't not happen in south africa there you look at the bank is owned by a black man you look at insurance is owned by a black man you look at a tech company owned by a black man big buildings by a black man all you know even aeroplanes in private jets by a black man and for me so that's why i i fell in love with angola so so that angola and mummy remakeba because i think in south africa we do not understand the power and um and the sacrifices and the political um um you know um boundaries that mirema keba did i think mina mirema keba same power if not more than oliver tamba in terms of liberating south africans Mirema Keba traveled faster than Oliver Tambo because she could yeah. sing. Yeah. She could get into different I mean Mirema Mere Keba addressed the UN before Oliver Tambo did. Yeah. So Mirema Keba was able to tell people about our plight before a politician could get there. Sure. So that's my Mirema Keba and our fellow Kuti. Fela Kuti is my muse, man. Like I love Fela Kuti, yeah. you know. He's also a guy who predicted, uh, you know, um, the fact that African leaders need to work together if they have to, if they want to liberate Africans. You cannot liberate an African. We can't. A South African government cannot liberate us on their own. We need the rest of the continent. Mm. So. So I mean I mean he also predicted the issue of water the water have no enemies I mean that's that's just that's very good for me you know and now we have issues of water <laughs> we have issues of this I mean we have we have we have, we have, we have, we have, we have those issues and then Lilongwe you know um which is a city that I like when I was there you know like oh, I like I like the city so those were just four words like I'm going to put on the song to for 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 you to think to go to this is really a language but this thing is in terms sure you know um um so it speaks to so you are because it is in terms 
you then gonna sing along to this and then you're gonna have your own interpretation and nobody's gonna judge you sure because this is how this song is talking to you and if you happen to sing lyrics wrong no one's gonna say they are they no yeah. one is gonna say you are wrong because they then said they don't know what what is the right lyric. <laughs> <laughs> don't get the wrong you're right you know you know what I mean? <laughs> so 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 <laughs> so that's 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 how so when when, when people when, when people say yo when I listen to this song it's for me it says it's like everything is gonna be okay and someone says yo man it makes me cry it makes me it's like speaking to me in a certain way and someone says you know it makes me it it reminds me of something or someone said like I just wanna celebrate I'm like this song is it has done exactly what what I wanted it to do sure you know um what I wanted it to do and it also proved something with the song Kaya, even myself now you know uh, everybody gentlemen on the on this live and everyone who's watching it's also proved something it proved it proved to Uti, people love melodies. Yeah. People fall in love with melodies. Melodies are much more pow- melody- oh, powerful. Melodies can be as powerful as your words. Yeah. There, there they are, people loving the song that they don't even know what it says. It's number one on radio, not even re- released. It's trending now on Twitter while we are chatting here. Yo! Yeah. But they don't know the lyrics. But they know the melody. Good. My father knows Australia. You know what I mean? So, so I think the power, the power of melody, the power of melody. Now it said to musicians, really think about that melody, not only about the lyrics, you just want to say something.